Hi guys. So today I'm going to show you how to set up throttle failsafe on APM if you're using a Radio Link 89. Now, the way failsafe works is it detects an a PWM value, a certain PWM value that the receiver outputs if the transmitter is turned off. So the default value that's normally advisable on APM is around 975 PWM, which is normally lower than the lowest value that you'll get if you're using the transmitter at the zero throttle position. So if I go to the radio 3, you can see that my zero throttle is 10006, about 10006, which is still higher than 975. Now, the only problem with that is when it comes to the transmitter, the default value of failsafe that is normally set is 15% of the throttle. So if I go into my settings, let me get that balanced. If I go into my settings and I go into failsafe, you can see there the value is normally set at 15%. Now what this means is if I'm to turn off my transmitter so let me do that right now I'll turn it off and you can see the value for radio 3 is actually gone up to 1083 now that won't be sufficient to engage the failsafe on the APM board because the APM board hasn't yet received the PWM value that will activate the failsafe mode on the APM which we, which can be either return to launch or continue with mission if you had an automatic mission so the way to set it is you have to do this you switch back on your transmitter and then you make sure that you trim you you make you set the throttle at zero and then you observe radio 3 the radio 3 value and then you slowly set your trim down so you trim it down and lower and lower and lower until you get a value that's lower than 975 so right now i've set my trim at um, around 40 minus 40 so if i go to my radio 3 channel you'll see that now it's reading a value of 950 on the lowest throttle position so now with that you go into your parameters and then you set the failsafe and the failsafe is now set by long pressing on the center button of the scroll wheel so you long press and just like that you've set your new failsafe value. So now if I'm to go back and back and reset my, my trim to zero and then I turn off the transmitter, when I go to radio three, you can see that the value is actually 939. Now in this case, it will be able to engage the failsafe mode on the APM because it has detected a value that's lower than the 975 that it requires. Yeah, so just like that, that's how easily you can set a failsafe that will work if ever your transmitter is to die while you're flying your drone. Thank you.